At 530, a live look at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. It is just days away right now from launching its new rideshare strategy. The goal to help speed up the process for travelers to and from the airport. And heaven knows we need that. If you've ever been there lately, you may have seen signs about the change coming on the 15th. Our Tori Cooper got a behind the scenes look into the new plan. Yeah, it just got easier to catch an Uber here at the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson Airport. It may not look like it right now, but come Monday, this area on the north side, lower level of the airport will be fully operational to accept drivers and passengers ahead of holiday travel. Finding your Uber or Lyft hasn't always been easy at the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. We've had pickup areas in the in parking lots. We've had them recently in the lower levels. We've had them uh, at the very beginning at the upper level. But now airport officials say this area on the north side lower level of the airport will be just for rideshare services to help make it faster on drivers to pick up and drop off. A major enhancement that we're that we're making here is for the drivers and that is they will no longer have to pick up pick up a ticket at the ticket spitter at the entrance plaza and give up that ticket on entry. They'll be able just to drive up to the pickup island pick up their ride and then go. So it's going to be a, a faster operation and make it easier for passengers to spot their Uber or Lyft. Now that there's only one pickup area, passengers telling CBS 46 a designated rideshare location will be more efficient. I've been to airports that do have a division, a location for Uber, a location for Lyft, a location for and it, it's easy. It makes it convenient. Yesterday, there were approximately 5,000 rideshare pickups at the domestic terminal. So that means there's a lot of activities. But this year, holiday travel rates are also expected to reach pre-pandemic levels once again. AAA now predicting a 13% rise in travelers as compared to 2020. And airport staff says they are ready to welcome travelers for a new rideshare experience. There's a lot of construction still going on and we'll be ready to open on Monday. Now signs will be posted inside and outside of the airport to help make it easier on passengers as well as drivers. Reporting from Hartsfield Jackson Airport, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. Tori, thank you. Former House Speaker New